All right, what's going on guys? It's Epoxy, and here in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to launch Fallout 3 Script Extender, also known as FOSE, through Steam, while keeping your Steam overlay and being able to track hours. In fact, not only will you be able to launch FOSE through this, you'll still be able to launch the original Fallout launcher, as well as Mod Organizer as additional options. And this is all thanks to the Fallout launcher replacer for Steam by Alex EG. So to get started, you'll want to go to the Nexus Mods link down in the description below, and you'll be greeted with this mod page. Once you're here, you want to click on the Files tab, and you'll see one file that being the Fallout Launcher. Go ahead and click on Manual Download. Once you do so, it will prompt you to download it to your PC. Make sure you choose your Downloads folder and click Save. And now that the file has downloaded, you'll see that it is in a .zip format. You'll likely need to download and correctly install 7-zip for this step. I have a video on that, link down in the description below. So once you have 7-zip installed correctly, all you have to do is right click on the file, go down to the 7-zip context menu, and choose Extract to Fallout Launcher. That will then extract it into its own folder. Go ahead and open up that folder, and in here you will see the Fallout Launcher. Don't worry if it does not say .exe. Now keeping this folder open, we wanna go ahead and open up Steam, find Fallout 3, right click, go to Manage, and go to Browse Local Files. Inside the Fallout 3 directory, you should see a Fallout Launcher. Right click on it, go to Rename, and go to the end of the name, and type in underscore O-R-G, and hit Enter. It should now be named Fallout Launcher underscore O-R-G. And now with both the folders opened, the Fallout 3 directory, as well as our downloaded Fallout Launcher, what we wanna do is drag the downloaded Fallout Launcher into the directory of Fallout 3, and that will now act as the Fallout Launcher for Fallout 3. So now, if we go to Steam, and we find Fallout 3, and we click play, you can see that a new command window pops up, giving us a total of three options. First being the Fallout 3 Launcher, then FOSE, and then Mod Organizer. So if we hit one on our keyboard, it will launch the vanilla Fallout 3 Launcher. So if for whatever reason you ever need to access this, that's there for you. But if we go ahead and exit and then relaunch the game through Steam, we can choose FOSE. And that will launch the FOSE loader. So I'll show you that FOSE is working by opening up the command window and typing in get FOSE version and hitting enter. And as you can see, FOSE version 1 is detected. FOSE is working perfectly. And if we hit shift tab, you can see that the Steam overlay is working as intended. This also allows it to track your Steam hours. So that is how you launch Fallout 3 FOSE through Steam and still have the Steam overlay as well as being able to track hours. I've been getting requests for this video for a long time now, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that like button down below, subscribe to Join the Good Fight if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to stay updated in all of my future videos. It'd be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy signing off.